Hello. Welcome to Crit Paintings. Are you here to make a monster with us today? Perfect. Well, whether you want a cute or creepy monster, I'm sure we can come up with the perfect companion for you. That is why we are called Creepanions. So, you're ready to make your monster? Perfect. Did you fill out the paperwork at the front desk before coming in? Awesome. So your, just to confirm, your name is? Okay, how do you spell that last name? And a good email for you. Okay. Perfect. This will just be used to create an account with us today. So in the future, after we have created your monster together, you will be able to log back in and create follow-up appointments if they are needed, or if you would like a second companion. So, I'm going to give you your companion starter pack, and this is going to help us and sort of guide us through the journey today of creating your perfect monster. So this is your starter packet. And on the second page, we have a little welcome blurb for you. I will go ahead and read that now. Welcome to Crepanions. We are so glad you are here with us, and we can't wait for you to start your Crepanion journey with us. We know you have lots of choices when it comes to custom monster creation, but we remain confident here at Crepanions that we will provide you with the best creature creation process possible. Creating your custom creature couldn't be easier with Crepanions. In just a few simple steps, your new companion will be created exactly to your liking, ready for a lifetime of companionship. After signing the waiver on the next page, you and your creation guide will begin building your companion. That's me, your creation guide. Once you have selected what you want your creature to look like, your creation guide will take a few moments to create your new companion. Once this process is complete, your companion will be ready for you. Whether you choose a cute companion or a creepy one, your new companion will be ready for a lifetime of fun. Once again, we thank you for choosing companions as your creature creation service and we can't wait to see what you create with us. Welcome to the Quipanion family. So as mentioned on this third page, there is a waiver for you to sign. And this just releases us from any incidents that take place after you leave the Quipanion studio today. Our policies um, require that I read this out loud to you before giving it to you to sign and initial. So I will do that right now. To ensure the safety and happiness of both Crepanions Incorporated, our customers, and our customers' Crepanions, we require all of our customers to sign a waiver prior to creature creation. This waiver releases Crepanions from any liability regarding the actions of Crepanions taken after they leave the Crepanion studio. 
These actions include, but are not limited to, scaring, eating, maiming, biting, attacking, howling, general belligerent behavior, and any and all other actions that may be unsuitable for public instances. Companions is not responsible for these actions nor the consequences of these actions and will not be held accountable for damages or financial aid. Signing this waiver also indicates that the customer understands after signing and creating their custom companion, companions may not be returned and a refund of payment will not be issued to the customer. Companions Incorporated does not support the trade of companions in legal or illegal circumstances and is not responsible for any activity regarding the trade of custom-created companions. Signing this waiver also indicates that the customer understands that Companions Incorporated is not responsible for individual behavior of personality traits of companions. Each companion is created individually and is naturally imbued with their own personality traits and behaviors. Companions Incorporated does not and cannot change the personality of companions before or after creation. Companions Incorporated also cannot change the physical traits of companions after their inception. The customer also understands that after creation, companions is a living entity and shall be treated as such with the respect endowed to any living thing. And if the customer does not adhere to this principle and to the laws of their state, country, provenance, they may be subjected to laws, regulations, and fines set forth by their respective place of living. Companions is not responsible for paying these fines, court fees, or any other fees associated with care and safekeeping of companions. So does all that sound okay? Perfect. So I just need you to initial right here. Okay, thank you. And right there. Thank you. And down here. Perfect. And lastly, just sign and date right down there. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. So now we can begin the fun part. Companions creation. So the first step in our companions creation is choosing your body shape. And this is how all of these steps will go in your companions creation. You will be presented with different categories and six different options for your companion. And you will choose which option you would like me to include in your creation. And again, as stated in the waiver, once your companion is created, you will not be able to go back and change these characteristics, all right? Perfect. So we can get started with body shape. Our first body shape, we have a plain circle. This is a very popular option among our customers. We also have a triangle. This is probably our least popular option, but if that's what you like, we will happily create your companion with a triangle body shape, that is no problem. We have this rectangular fluffy shape. We have this teardrop shape. We have a plain square shape, a almost head shape, and that is our last selection. So does any of these look to your liking. Okay, you're thinking the triangle. All right, 
Well, congratulations, you have made your first selection. I will just go ahead and circle that for us. You have chosen the triangle for your body shape. On to our next creation step. We have our arms and legs options. So again, six different options. We have our tentacle option up here. If you're thinking of more of an aquatic organism, I would recommend this choice. We also have just our sort of plain arms and legs. We have our sort of spidery, skinny arms and legs option. That's very adorable as well. And in place of our um, three regular arms and legs options, you can also choose to have your companion created with wings. So we have a bat option right here. We have some fairy wings. And then we have some beautiful angel wings that you can also put on your companion. Do you like the winged options? This fairy one down here? All right, perfect. I'll go ahead and circle that. And you have made your appendages selection. On to the next one. So next, we have our different forehead options. So, starting here, some of our selections, you can choose to have none on your companion if you would like. But anyways, for our first forehead option, we have a cute, dainty pair of antenna up here. We also have a pair of simple horns right here. We have some beautiful, beautiful curved horns. And we have a unicorn horn. And we also offer gills in our companions. Most monster creation companies don't offer this option down here. And again, of course, these are very good for aquatic organisms, if that's what you're going for. But the choice is up to you. You're thinking about the unicorn horn option? Perfect. I'll go ahead and circle that for us. We like the unicorn horn. Very, very nice choice. So on to our next option. Fun. We have our eyes. So again, six different options for our eyes. We have this pair of cat eyes up here. Very, very sneaky. Um, we have these beautiful, cute, shimmering eyes up here. I personally like these the best, I think. We have a single spiral eye. We have a plain, simple pair of black eyes right there. We have um, five eyes you can put on your companion. It's a very popular choice. Many people like that. And then we have this beautiful pair of lashed eyes down here. Like the cute eyes? Yes. Very, very good option. Very nice. 
I'll just circle that for us. So now for later. And we will move on to our next selection. And we have our ears. This is also very fun. You see we have an option for none right here. Our first option is this beautiful skinny elf type ear. We have this furry animal looking ear up here. We also have this humanoid ear. We have a simple round ear. And then we have this fun aquatic ear down here. Yes, our companion designers have taken a, say, interest in making sure we have many different aquatic options for our customers. Yes, I, I like the aquatic one too. Not quite what you're looking for. Okay. Oh, you want to go with none? Well, that's perfectly, perfectly fine. Many of our customers decide to go with um, no ears. It's perfectly fine. On to our next range of options. We have our mouths. So we have this simple smiling mouth, very happy. We have a little frown with an upturned fang. It's very cute. Um, we have an open sort of spooky mouth that you can pick. We have a smiling mouth with fangs, also very cute. We have a super smiling mouth with lots of teeth. And then we have this spooky mouth down here with lots of sharp teeth. Okay, you're thinking one of the smile ones? You're thinking this one? Okay, perfect. I'll go ahead and Circle that for us. And on to our noses. So for our nose options, we have two slits. This is very spooky. We have a sort of cute little pig nose almost. Of course, you can have no nose if you prefer. We have a simple L nose. We have a round nose and we have a cute big nose. You like the pig nose? I do too. It is a great choice. Okay. On to our next selection. This is actually the last choice for your companions before I go back into the studio and create your new monster. So all we need from you now is just a color selection of your companion. So we have your basic rainbow colors and then we also have pink. Oh, pink's your favorite? Well, I'm so glad we added it then. Would you like that to be your companion color? Okay, perfect. I'll just circle that. And we are all finished selecting your companion's attributes. So I am going to borrow your starter packet for just a few minutes. I'm going to go back into our studio um, somebody will come in here and talk you through the payment 
process of your Gripanion creation and you will also be offered a few treats while you wait, of course. So I'm going to take this and I will be right back with your Gripanion. Okay, I'm back from the studio. Here is your starter packet. Just take that. And I have your new Gripanion here with me. Are you ready to see it? Here is your Crepanion. It's very, very cute. I love the pink. It has your fairy wings that you selected, your triangle head, your cute eyes, cute smile, cute nose, and your unicorn horn. Do you like it? Awesome. I'm so happy that you came here today and created your custom monster with us. Here's your companion. You can now take it home and it is ready for a lifetime of fun with you. Thank you so much for coming in today. And of course, if you need anything, don't hesitate to give our office a call where we do accept walk-ins if you have any questions. And I will also make sure that you get your account info with us from our receptionist so you can log into our website and schedule any appointments that you might need to make in the future or if you need any helpful tips and tricks on your first few days with your companion. <clears throat> we have some helpful links on there as well. So, yes, it was a pleasure to meet you. I'm so happy for you and your new companion. I know you'll have a lovely, lovely time together. Hopefully, I'll see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.